Hello and welcome to this video today on Back to Basics. As you may have noticed, over the last couple of weeks a few companies have come on board. Now, there's a company that's come on board called Beyond Outdoors. This is the rucksack here. Now, they've kindly sent us a few bits of their gear to have a review of and test and tell them what we think about it. Now, what I've done today is I've come out to some private woods that I'm allowed to use and um, I'm on my own here so I'm not breaking any lockdown regulations or anything like that. I'm using me hours exercise to do it and I am less than five miles away from home as well so all's good, there's no one else around apart from me. So what I'm going to do in this quick hour today is get this video filmed and get it put up on the website. Now, Beyond Outdoors are a really good company. What Beyond Outdoors are doing is they are making all their gear from recycled materials, mainly plastic bottles. Now they've sent me the rucksack, their air mat and a sleeping bag to test and review and tell them what I think about it and put a few reviews up on YouTube and on the Back to Basics Facebook group. Now everything I brought with me today is fitted in this rucksack. Now it's a brilliant rucksack it's got some really cool features as well. All of the clips and buckles on this rucksack are really strong. The pockets are all exceptionally decent sizes. On top of that as well, you've got your add points to add your walking poles through or anything else you'd like to attach to it. You've got a nice little system here on top to be able to attach things to the top of the rucksack. And the standard same pockets at the bottom with a zip on that you can seal off that will keep your clothes dry if you want to put wet gear inside the, bo the bottom of there. Well, if I turn it round, the one thing I do like instantly about this rucksack is these pads to help protect your back and this lower pad here. This lower pad here, I really, really do like. Adjustable waist straps, as you can see. It's on a runner at the back, so you can adjust the height as well, which also is really good. This is the 65 litre Ozone FRCD 65 litre. Now I really do like this rucksack. I'm not, I'm not going to wind, wind you up and say I like it when I don't. I really do. When you see the amount of gear that I've put in this today and brought here, it will amaze you. So everything you see me use in conjunction with the gear that they sent me today, I brought in this rucksack. Now believe me, it, it, it has surprised me what I've managed to fit inside, inside of it. So that is the Beyond Rucksack. You'll see me using this a lot more over the next couple of weeks as well. You won't see me camping because as it's locked down we're not allowed to camp. But I will do different pieces, bits and pieces with this. If I'm going out for a, a walk I'll take it with me and different bits like that as well. Now, what a few of the other things they sent was... I open it up. They've sent... The Beyond Outdoors air mat as well. This is a self-inflating air mat, and I'm really looking forward to showing you what this air mat can do to today in different situations. Because as you may have noticed, I do a lot of different ranges of wild camping. I do everything from bushcraft wild camping, we can see me sat in my bushcraft shelter now, to hammock camping, I do kayak camping, I do fell camping. I do a whole range of different sorts of camping. So today you're going to see how well this gear fits and suits a, a vast range of different methods of camping. So this is the Climate FRCD. It's two and a half centimetres thick when it's inflated and it is 183 centimetres long by 51 centimetres wide and it weighs in at 948 grams which is really good for an inflatable air mat. I'll just put that down there for a second. Now, this is what I like the most, and I'll be totally honest with you, like you, is the Beyond Outdoors Carbon FRCD 200 sleeping bag. Now, this is not compressed down. This is not the normal sizes. If I compress this down now, you will see it goes a heck of a lot smaller.
as you can see. Now this, I think, is exceptional. I really do like this bag. Now I like this bag for a lot of reasons. One is when I do my kayak camping, that is the perfect size along with my lightweight hammock and tarp to go inside my dry bag and fits inside my Dagger GT10 absolutely perfectly. As well as that, I can put my lightweight cook set inside there and it all fits into a really small dry bag. So before I even attempt to use this in my kayak, this is gonna be brilliant, it really is. But let's get away from the kayak camping and let's start off with the bushcraft camping. Now, this sleeping bag has yet again been made with plastic bottles. Now, I do like the idea what what Beyond Outdoors is actually doing using recycled gear. Because when they use the recycled plastic bottles and things like that and different other bits, it helps with the environment and it helps with a whole host of other things as well. Now, every item that Beyond Outdoors sell, they're going to give a pound to charity to try and offset the carbon footprint that it takes them to produce and get these things out to the shops. So I definitely think Beyond Outdoors has got one heck of a good reputation that they're going to build over the next few years. So that is the Beyond Outdoors two season sleeping bag. They do do a three season sleeping bag which I haven't had a chance to have a look at yet. Um, if I get the chance to I'll definitely review it and see how it will performs in different environments and different styles of wild camping or bushcrafting. So there's the Beyond Outdoors sleeping bag. I've already talked you through the Beyond Outdoors rucksack which I think is an exceptional little rucksack considering it's the 65 litre and I'll tell you now inside this rucksack to today I have brought my DD hammock front line, my DD 3x3 tarp my magic carpet and my mountain top tent all fitted inside here along with the rest of the gear I use like my baby bag and things like that in my bushcraft shelter so with all that there would have still been enough room for me to, to fit a few bottles of water my food and my lightweight cook set so Believe it or not, this 65 litre rucksack will hold a lot of stuff and still feel really lightweight on your back, which I'm really impressed with. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you off camera and I'm going to set up, first of all, my bushcraft shelter using the Beyond Outdoors sleeping bag and air mat inside my bivy bag just to show you it's possible to use these sleeping bag and air mat in different scenarios when wild camping. Everything from hammock and tarp camping right the way through up to peak camping or high altitudes camping. So that's what I'm going to do in this video so I'll see you again really soon. Right as you can see I've set the gear up now as if I was going to be doing a bushcraft shelter camp. I've got me bivy bag and inside my bivy bag I have the carbon FRCD 200 sleeping bag which is rated to seven degrees is seven degrees Celsius and the safe limit is two degrees Celsius so that I am really impressed with now I've had a look at the bag and it's got a nice bit for your head there because it is a, a mummy bag as well as a nice zip and it's actually quite a nice sleeping bag I really do like this and even the colour and, and the feel of it is really good. The air mattress is there and I've sat on this now. It's actually really comfy. I have got quite a few of my own ones of these that I've bought. And in all fairness, I do think this one is a lot more comfier and, and a lot more sort of, feels a lot nicer. So, because a few of the other air mats I've got like this, you sit on them and you can feel the, the bits of the logs be beneath the air mat here and beneath the bivy bag you can feel them but on this you really don't so I really do like that, that air mat so there's the air mat down which is the climate FRCD inside the bivy bag with a sleeping bag across the top now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that up like that and I'm going to pull that over the top because what I want to do is I want to lay down 
move the microphone out of the way. I want to lay down and see what sort of comfort it is whilst I'm laid down. Now, as I said before when I was sat on it, yeah, that is, you can't feel the logs of this raised bed at all, which is a bit of a problem sometimes when you're out bushcraft camping because you do feel of the logs through it. Now, yeah, I like that. In all fairness, inside the sleeping bag, yeah, I would get a decent night's sleep on that. So, for bushcraft camping, the Beyond Outdoors gear would be really good. So, your air mattress and the sleeping bag and the rucksack for a bushcraft wild camp is absolutely brilliant. So, I definitely do recommend if you're into your bushcraft wild camping, definitely worth getting the rucksack because it can get your gear here. It's definitely worth getting the air mattress because as I'm led on that now, it's absolutely brilliant. Now, the reason I've not got inside it is because I've got my mucky boots on and because I'm on top of my bivvy bag, the air mat and the sleeping bag's not going to get dirty. So that's the reason I've just folded the bits off over really. So I'm really impressed with that. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take you over to my hammock setup and show you how you could use this gear and how versatile it is to even use in a DD hammock. Well as you can see I'm here now at my hammock gear setup. Now what you may have noticed what I've done this time is I've put I've opened up the bottom section of where you can open up most hammocks and in there I've slid in let me show you so you know it's in there is the climate F R C D now I've fastened the under Alco bits back up so that is in a sealed compartment under where you sleep inside of a hammock now usually what I would bring out as well is my DD under quilt but today for these purposes I haven't brought that out because in all fairness with this matting you shouldn't need it so that is where the air mat has gone inside the envelope bottom to the hammock now inside if I was to open it up Inside there I have the blue carbon FRCD 200 sleeping bag. Now, this sleeping bag is it synthetic filled and the colours and the design of this sleeping bag is really good. Now I really do like this and what I'm going to do in a few seconds is I'm going to stop talking and have a sit in this and see what it feels like. Now, I do like this Beyond Outdoors gear, it is really decent. I like the design, I like the design on the foot box. I actually like the whole thing of the bag itself because when you're out hammock camping or bushcraft camping, you want to keep your gear as light and as small as possible. So it's definitely the big thumbs up for Beyond Outdoors so far with what I'm seeing, with what you can do and how versatile that their sleeping bags and air mats are. So I'm definitely interested in the rest of what Beyond Outdoors is going to do and especially considering it's all made from recycled materials I'm actually really liking where this company is heading. Now I'll give you a, a few more details about the sleeping bag and the air mat on the next setup that I show you. The next setup I'm going to show you after I've had a sit in, in this so you can see what it's like and how it feels. I'm not going to lay in this because I've got my boots on and I don't want to be getting the sleeping bag and my hammock dirty today. But as soon as the lockdown's finished, I will get out and I will do a few camps in these so you can see the gear actually out in the field being tested properly. This is just a quick look at today of how you can use it in different scenarios. Because the company's opening up soon and the website's going to be going live soon, I want as many people to be able to see this gear and think, do you know what, I like that, so they can see how versatile it is before the lockdown ends and we can all get back out there camping. Because believe it or like not, there are a lot of us missing it. And it's going to be a long time, I think, still. I reckon about another six weeks they've just extended it to. So hopefully a lot more people will take a look at these reviews and think, yeah, I'm going to give them a go because the price of these, you can't go wrong. So I'll give a sit in this now and then I'll take you across to the one-man tent I've got for what I use when I'm up in the Peak District or going high up mountains in the Lake District or North Wales. I'll have a sit in this now.
The one thing about a hammock, sometimes you get a lot of under chill when the wind blows under it, which is why you use the under quilts. But in all fairness, with that mat under there, I'm getting nothing. And this mat rolls down smaller than, than a DD under quilt does, so I'm liking that. I really am liking that. That is definitely another thumbs up that I didn't expect because I'm just sitting there a few seconds and just see if I get that cold spot. No, I'm not getting the cold spot. Which usually you get, especially on a bit of a windy day like this, when the wind rushes beneath here. You do usually get, as hammock campers know, you get a bit of a wind chill under it. And no, I'm not getting any cold spots. And I'm not even inside the sleeping bag. So, with the sleeping bag and the mat, oh, I am really looking forward to taking this out and testing this properly in the outdoors. Yeah, I really do like this. That's actually nice and warm, I don't even want to move, but I need to move to get this film so I can get home, so yeah, I'm really liking this Beyond Gear so like far, so I can't say it enough, big thumbs up for, for Beyond Outdoors, especially this mat and this sleeping bag, I really do like that. I'll see you again in a few seconds when I take you across to my mountain tent that I've got there and I'll show you how versatile this is to fit in a mountain tent because a mountain tent as you may have noticed if there's any mountain campers who are watching this are quite small so the rooms you get inside your tent is not that great um i have got the oex fox one version two now as you may have seen if you watch the videos of what size that tent is a lot of people complain saying that there's no cooking space inside there and a lot of things like that but if you're a one-man lightweight camper, it's a perfect tent. As long as you don't mind cooking outside of your tent, and as long as it's not proper lashing it down, it is a good little tent. And I do like it. So in a second, I'm going to take the air mat and the sleeping bag across to that and just show you that the air mat and the sleeping bag fit nicely inside there as well. So just to prove an a bit of the different scenarios and different camping that you can actually still use the Beyond Outdoors gear in. So um, I'm looking forward to this one. Well as you can see this is me one man mountain top, peak district, lake district, north wells, wherever I really want to take just a small one man tent that's lightweight this is what I take. Now as you can see inside there the Beyond air mattress is there, and on top of it is yet again the sleeping bag. Now, a lot of air mattresses struggle to fit in a lot of these one man tents because they're too wide or they're a pain in the neck to get in there, or it's, it's a bit of a nightmare and a bit of a nightmare situation. But what I've noticed about this one is as it's 51 centimetres wide still a bit of room inside there to put your boots. So you don't want to put them inside your vestibule which is down here. You can put them inside there. So you'd have your bag on the back side of the vestibule and you'd have your cooking gear and that down the side of there if, if you wanted to. Unless you were using it and then you really wouldn't want to be cooking inside there. You'd have to cook outside here. But as you can see with peak camping or camping up in the lakes or camping up in the mountains you want your gear to be light. So the air mat and this sleeping bag is bang on right. I don't think beyond outdoors I can find a problem at all with the gear so far. Um, I've not took it out and give it a proper rigorous testing yet like I will do, but at, at the first look and putting it inside the gear on my quick wander today, I really do like it. And I don't see a problem with it. The only little thing that I might find a problem with, but I've seen it mentioned before by the English woodsman, is the size of your shoulders, but I usually sleep on my side, so in all fairness I don't think that would be an issue unless you was a really big person, so 
other than that, I don't think it will be any different. Because if you think about it, with all the other sleeping bag companies, a lot of them make an XL version of it. DD do an XL version of their hammock quilt and their hammock sleeping bag, the D Dura XL. And a few other companies do a bit of a bigger sleeping bag. So, in all fairness, for Beyond, for Beyond Outdoors to do their first two ranges of bags like they've done, they haven't really expanded into the more XL versions yet. So, I can't fault them, even though there's been a few things about the size of them. I can quite honestly say, from what they've, from what they've done so far and the rigorous testing they've already put it through by different groups like scouts and mountain, and, and mountain experts, I actually do like Beyond Out, Outdoor Gear. So, this first look at the Beyond Outdoor Gear and I really like it. So, um, it's definitely a thumbs up from me and it's a thumbs up from, from the team at Back to Basics. So, um, I'm looking forward to as soon as this lockdown's finished so I can get this out, out properly instead of having to come to these private woods that I, that I can use. So, um, yet again, as, as I've said, I'm stuck with all the guidelines to today as well. I haven't, there's no one else around. This is out in the middle of nowhere. It's less than five miles from home. I've got permission to be here. I've got an hour's exercise so I can get all this packed up now and get home. Problem solved. No one's been injured, no one's been hurt, no guidelines have been broken. I've not stayed out or overnight and I'm not going to until lockdown finishes because it's not really the right thing to be doing. So thank you for watching this quick video today. There'll be a lot more coming on the Back to Basics channel as well as my own channel which is Delicate Sounds of Camping. So um, I hope you enjoyed the content that we're bringing out for you and I just hope you enjoy seeing all the different forms of wild camping and things that we've got planned for you over the next couple of months. So this has been the first look at review of the Beyond Outdoor gear. And I must say, Beyond Outdoors, I am really impressed. And I've lost track how many times I've said that today, so, but I am really impressed with it. Um, what I would like to ask you a question is this though, is I know Beyond Outdoors are gonna be watching this and watching other review videos by their teams. How much bigger is your winter bag compared to your two season bag? Because I know it says it goes down to minus five in that. Um, is, is the synthetic thicker or is the material thicker? What makes it, is, is it, is the pack size bigger or is it, or does it stick to the same sort of pack size? That's really the only question I'd like to ask Beyond Outdoors and Hope to see some more of their gear coming online soon and hopefully get my hands on it so I can give it a bit of a run through its paces after we've proved what we're going to do with this gear. So um, hopefully see more soon and as I said before, after we've put this through a rigorous testing we are going to give it away on the group as a competition prize. So if you'd like to get your hands on a bit of the free Beyond Outdoors gear, it will be putting up after we've rigorously tested it. and things like that we will put it up for a competition on the group page but only after we have fulfilled the requirements that we've got to do with beyond outdoors thank you for watching the video today and i'll see you on the next one